Hello, this is Barb Binder with Rocky Mountain Training. I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor on FrameMaker. In this, in this video, I'd like to show you how you can add warning labels to paragraphs so that you can ensure that somebody will see those important paragraphs when they're scanning your document. To make a paragraph stand out with a label, I would begin by selecting it and make it a new paragraph format for it. I'm going to go ahead and make a new paragraph format called Caution and I'll click Create. Now you can do anything you want to make it uh, stand out. For example, maybe I'll go to Basic Properties and I'll get rid of my first line indent. Maybe add a little bit more space above the paragraph and perhaps some space below it. That's a good start. But what I really want to do is add the word caution in front of that paragraph. Now I can type in the word caution and I can format any way I want, but here's a better way. Using the auto numbering properties, and this is the numbering property sheet in the paragraph designer, you're not limited to just bullets and numbers. You can put anything on this line that you want. I'm going to type in the word caution. Uh, and maybe a colon and a space. When I pick Update All, that word will appear automatically in front of the paragraph. But as cautions go, that's a very quiet caution, more like a whispered caution because it's lowercase and just kind of blends in. So a better idea might be to go over to my character formats. I've got one called Emphasis, so maybe I'll go ahead and click on Emphasis, which has been defined as uppercase, blue, and a heavier font. And when I pick Update All, now it's beginning to stand out. Once the caution paragraph has been created, if I want to remove it, I can go to my paragraph catalog and say, no, that's just a body paragraph and it's gone. Or I can click on caution and the caution format is reapplied, including remo removing the indent, adjusting the spacing, and of course the very important word caution. To make this pop even more, you could consider associating an image with the text. And to do that, I would go back to Paragraph Designer one more time. I would go to Advanced Properties, that's button number 5 on the top row. And if you have any frames on your reference pages that would work, I happen to have a caution symbol on my reference page, you could simply reference that frame in the Paragraph Designer. I'm going to click on Caution and Update All. And there's my caution symbol sitting directly above. It's making it more obvious now that this is happening. Spacing's not so great though, and that gives me a chance to show you how I put the caution symbol in there as I go to fix it. I'm going to go to the View menu. I'm going to go to the Reference Pages. And what I did is I placed a uh, graphic frame, which is this tool right here. I just drew a graphic frame, put my caution symbol in it, and I'm going to select the frame now. I'm going to make the frame a little bit taller. I'll take the uh, symbol itself and I'm going to just scoot it up so I get some more spacing below it. That might be too much, but you get the idea. When I go back to the view menu and I go to my body pages, FrameMaker will be seeing that information and it reflects that change. Um, now, this is all associated with my paragraph tag. If I go back to my paragraph catalog and I say, nope, you're just a body paragraph, that's what it does. If I tell it to be a caution paragraph, it gets the caution symbol, it gets the word caution, it pulls in the character format, and it works great. 